Hi everybody. Uh, today we are at Naoyahida's office, um, and this is the launch of the 2022 Naoyahida and Co. watch collection. Um, this year there are five pieces, and I am very fortunate to be joined by Hida-san himself to talk us through what is in the collection. But you know, actually, before we start, can we get a little bit of your background? Thank you for uh, having me, and welcome to our small workshop. Thanks for uh, having me. I was uh, joining the uh, watch industry mm -hmm. for 32 years ago. Mm -hmm. Uh, I was uh, working for several Swiss watch trading company, mm. uh, Desk Koto Schultes, Zurich based company, and uh, Siva Hegner, mm. uh, also Zurich based uh, trading company. Mm. And at that time, I have an opportunity to work with uh, many Swiss watch brands, mm. including uh, Vachon Constantin, Breguet, mm. or the one Piguet JJ Good. So I saw a lot of watches. I'm so happy to deal, work with uh, the great people. Mm. But same time, I have uh, some idea watches mm -hmm. in my mind. Mm -hmm. I want to create some uh, watches in the future. Mm -hmm. Then, in uh, 2004, I have met with uh, Francois Paul June, mm -hmm. uh, probably one of the greatest watchmakers yeah, in modern. For sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, I have worked with him for five years. Mm -hmm. And uh, for me, it's a good experience. Mm -hmm. But uh, he created very nice watches under his philosophy. Mm. I have no, it's no space for uh, add, add and uh, involving someone because mm. uh, it's his brand. Yeah. Then, uh, maybe same time, I have opportunity to have met with uh, my staff, uh, mm -hmm. team member, mm -hmm. which is uh, with uh, Fujita-san and Kano-san at that time. Mm -hmm. So we decided to create uh, our watches by ourselves in Japan. Mm -hmm. Luckily, at that time, uh, 2004 or something like that, Kikuno-san and Asaoka-san was a create launching their own brand mm -hmm. and uh, seems to be the business is doing well. Mm -hmm. So it uh, encouraged me to uh, have my own business. Mm -hmm. Then uh, working, after working for Richmond Japan as a brand manager for Love from Watch and Jewelry, mm -hmm. I've decided to establish my own company in 2018. Mm -hmm. And in 2019, I have launched our first collection NH Type 1B, and suddenly I have uh, received an email from you and uh, yeah. would like to purchase uh, one of our pieces. So our relation was started. Yeah, that was when 2019. Right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, time flies. Because you, we met in what March 2019, and then you delivered. Uh, end of that year, I think. Was it like it's, December? No, or it's like that? May something like that. We have met in oh, Grand okay. Hyatt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, that's true. Yeah, no, no, right? maybe May, June or something hot, mm. warmer season. Yeah. Yeah. So that first year you made seven, six, seven, seven, seven pieces. pieces. Yes. And then the next year we decided we would try and do some business together. And exactly. So the Armory hosted a virtual trunk show with you. Exactly. I, I was participated via Zoom. Yeah. Yeah. That was fun. And that year you made 20... 20 pieces. 20 yeah, pieces? sold uh, via trunk show. Yeah, it's a... Great achievement, I yeah. think. And then third year was how much? Sorry? Uh, for your third year, how many pieces did you do? Sad, uh, we made uh, 40 pieces. Mm. Yeah. That's great. So the brand is like slowly but steadily yes. growing. Yes. You know? And uh, around 2000, and end of 2019, mm. Fujita-san was officially joined to mm. our company. Mm. And uh, 1st of May this year, mm. uh, our engraver, uh, Kano-san, was joined. Mm. Now uh, our original member was fully on board. Mm. That's pretty amazing, like how, how much you managed to get done with three people, but two of you were part-time. Actually, you were kind of part-time too, because exactly. you had your other career exactly. as well. Exactly, exactly. Hmm. Because, uh, yeah, I'm really appreciated that uh, Fujita-san and Kano-san is yeah. hardly, so hardly working yeah. for, uh, with this project. Yeah. Because uh, they sacrifice their private time yeah. to making uh, watches. Yeah. yeah. Well, I think the result speaks for itself. Thank you. Because um, we don't have that much time today. We should look at what you have released for 2022 to 2023. Okay. Yeah. Uh, this year we were launched a third generation of the case. Mm -hmm. Actually, maybe the case construction change is our main subject for mm -hmm. 2022. Mm -hmm. 
which is uh, all the, our new, new product 2022 has screw back case. Mm -hmm. uh, screw back case is a practically it's a good better for water resistance. Mm -hmm. But uh, personally, I love the shape of the screw case back. Yeah. Especially uh, made in 50, 90, 60 era. Yeah. That's why. Uh, I decided to introduce uh, this case shape, mm -hmm. case design for a new generation case. Mm -hmm. uh, type 1D is uh, one of the first signature model. Mm -hmm. It's the latest variation, version of the Type 1 series. Mm -hmm. uh, stainless steel case, manual winding, same, but mm -hmm. a different construction. Mm -hmm. And also from this year, uh, Type 1 series, all the Type 1 series has a separated small second circle. Mm. It's a one of our specialty is a separated uh, dial components. Mm -hmm. uh, this, from this year, Type 1 has a separated uh, hour track, mm -hmm. and uh, sorry, mini track, mm -hmm. and a second track. I see. Uh, and what was your inspiration for the Type 1? Actually, I love vintage watches uh, from especially 1930 to 60s era. Mm -hmm. Uh, I was strongly influenced a lot of uh, great brands, including uh, Patek Philippe, Passion Constantin, Audemars Piguet, JJ Lucud, IWC, Rolex, Omega, mm -hmm. Longines, of course, or even Seiko, mm -hmm. Shizizun. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But the Type 1, you had like a very specific yes. Influence, didn't you? Yes, yes. Probably this is a book written by my uh, favorite author John Goldberger. Yeah, you know. Uh, I know this book. Yeah. I have two copies of yeah, this book. Yeah, yeah, This one is a uh, Patek Philippe vintage uh, watches. Mm -hmm. uh, small second located at uh, nine o'clock. Mm -hmm. I think it is, this is pretty rare. Yeah, uh, watches. May, most, because uh, most of the Patek Philippe watch has a uh, small second at uh, six o'clock. That's right. So I saw uh, this these kind of very rare watches. Mm -hmm. And uh, I want maybe someday I want uh, like uh, these kind of beautiful watches. Mm -hmm. But we have a very small company and a very short experience. Uh, I have a discuss with Fujita san one day, and uh, he gave me an idea. Okay, uh, we have a Baroju, famous Eta Baroju 7750, which is a robust, big, and a reliable movement, good. Mm -hmm. Small second at nine o'clock. Uh, mm -hmm. Nine o'clock. Mm -hmm. But I told him. So I don't like the feeling of the when I rewind the crown. Mm. He has an idea. Okay, maybe we can transform Barjo 7750 automatic chronograph movement to manual winding, simple one. Mm -hmm. Then and, uh, he can design the special click and click spring. Mm -hmm. So maybe feeling of the rewinding will be changed. Mm -hmm. So this is the best idea. I see. And that's how you all got started. Amazing. Thank you. And there's a new version of the yes. Type 1, isn't it? Yes. Uh, this is the latest one. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is uh, something uh, additional variation of uh, Type 1 series, which is Type 1 D1. This is our, our first combination case models in stainless steel and uh, yellow gold. This is beautiful. Yeah. This is really good. Yellow gold bezel and uh, yellow gold hands, uh, hour hand, minutes hand, and small second hands. And it's the first time you've used precious metals. Exactly, too. exactly. You know, because the screw back case makes the profile of the watch a little bit thinner, visually yeah. a little bit yeah, thinner. Yeah, yeah. Actually, it's the same as the thickness, but yeah. Uh, yeah, you're right. Same thickness, but visually it feels a little bit thinner. Yeah. And the precious gold bezel, I think, looks really good against this new profile. Thank you. Beautiful. Was it hard working with this precious metal? Yeah, it takes time because uh, we need a uh, new supplier for making uh, bezel. I see. Yeah, because uh, precious metal itself is uh, not easy to, not difficult to make. Mm -hmm. But so now, as you know, the precious mater uh, price of mater precious material, it's uh, Gone go up high, high. Go high, it's high. Yeah. So uh, it's need a something special experience to make uh, uh, components in uh, precious metal. I see. Yeah. Amazing. Okay, and what's next? Uh, type two. Mm -hmm. uh, probably one of your favorite watches is a type, type two. Type two is one yeah. of my favorites. Yes. Yeah, thank you. Uh, manual winding, a center second wrist watches. 
And uh, we also introduced a screw case back and a new ca construction shape of a construction case for mm. Type 2. Mm. And uh, we, it looks like a very similar de design as a Type 2B, as mm. a uh, launcher last year. Mm -hmm. But uh, we changed the construction of the dial. Mm. That's a second scale at the dial mm -hmm. is a one piece as a bottom uh, base plate. Mm -hmm. And uh, we made separated our marker mm. like uh, donuts mm -hmm. it's made separately mm. and added mm. it will be made of 10 pieces in this year this is lovely i love the train track on this the <laughs> thank you great. yeah oh i just realized i wound all your watches and i wasn't meant to okay um and then there's like a secret project that you and i worked yes. on yes which I didn't we have started to discuss about this project for two years ago. Yeah, two years ago now. I'm super happy to see it. This you is just finally see the prototype. Yeah, this is our first collaboration pieces yeah. between uh, Nawahida and Ko and the Armory. That's right. So we have to keep a little bit quiet about this for a little bit longer. Okay. But there will be a trunk show in New York starting on the 26th, mm -hmm. followed by a trunk show in Hong Kong um, around. June 2nd or June 3rd? June 2nd. Anyway, check our website, follow us on IG, and uh, you'll, you'll hear all about it. And we'll give you more detail on that later. Finally, the Type 3. Yes. Mm. Last year, we launched uh, our first semi-complicated watch, NH Type 3A, mm -hmm. which is a manual winding with a move as a function at mm. the 6 o'clock. Mm -hmm. uh, luckily, it was the product was a, had a great success, mm -hmm. and this is a success of uh, Type Three. Mm -hmm. And uh, this watch also has a screw case back, mm -hmm. and uh, this is prototype and uh, design has not changed yet. But actual production pieces of uh, moon phase, face of moon phase, will be slightly changed. I see. Yeah. Tell us a little bit more about that, because I know there's like quite an interesting story to go with that too. Uh, yeah, when I designed a face of moon face mm -hmm. in our company, I made a small face made by a clay. Mm -hmm. Because I, I, before joining a watch industry, I was a professional model, mm -hmm. master model of a scale model. Mm -hmm. I made a lot of uh, scale, master of scale model by okay. hand. Okay. So with this experience, I made a small uh, clay model <laughs> and uh, show our engraver Kano-san mm. to create the best design. Right. But uh, not easy to uh, create the same shape because uh, the, the actual uh, gold disc, the, the height of the gold disc is uh, only 1.5 millimeter. It's ah, I so see. thin. I see. So, Maybe we still discuss with uh, yeah. Kano-san and Fujita-san. Yeah. And uh, I think uh, we will be able to create something unique, shape of a face of moon face. Well, I really look forward to it. I mean, it's, I don't know, it's, it's hard to say there's a favorite in this collection because it's really a wonderful collection. Thank you. And, you know, right when you think, oh, what else can you do with an existing design? Like, you just come up with something new. And I'm like, oh, wow, I never thought of that. That's wonderful. Yeah, I, I think uh, I was so strongly influenced the vintage mm. watches made in uh, like this, mm -hmm. 30 to 60s. Mm -hmm. And uh, for example, for Type 2, mm. I love uh, manual winding center second watches. Mm. This is a uh, watch auction. Mm -hmm. uh, for uh, mainly focused on Bashan Constantin. Mm. So this book mentioned a lot of uh, manual winding center second watches. Yeah. This watch has a button hand and very in beautiful index markers. Yeah. I love this shape and uh, I want to create uh, these taste watches in mm. modern techniques. I don't mm. want to reissue the same watches. Because uh, it's not us, our brand. It uh, belongs to other brands. Yeah, of course. That's why I want to create uh, these watches in a modern technique with uh, skilled handcrafts uh, details, like uh, Kano-san able to give us an engraving index. I see. It. Man, super cool. Cool. Okay. Um, we should talk briefly about if you if a customer is interested in ordering one of these, mm -hmm. how does he do it? Uh, this year we have uh, orders, three different kind of order session. Mm -hmm. First is uh, di directly with us. Mm -hmm. We will uh, accept uh, applying of uh, to apply to purchase 
uh, for customers who already have uh, uh, our watches from uh, next week. Mm -hmm. And the end of this month, uh, we accept uh, the customer who has a first time purchase or mm -hmm. that, also via email. Mm -hmm. And uh, you have a uh, two trunk show in yes. uh, New York and Hong Kong. That's right. And uh, our my old friend uh, Mr. Kamine has a trunk show in early July. So mm -hmm. this is a way to order our watches. Fantastic. Okay. Um, for more details, you can check out Hida-san's website. Um, your order window starts when? If it's a new customer. Uh, from twenty uh, fourth May uh -huh. till twenty uh, ninth May. Okay, 24th May, 29th May, it's by application. Yes. So it's not first come, first serve, it's by application. Yes. Got it. And then you will check all the applications and you will make a decision. Exactly. Got it. Okay. On the Armory side, if you're interested in ordering with us, um, we are doing ours by random lottery. Our lottery will start May 26th and run until June uh, 6th. And uh, all you got to do is just throw your name in the hat and uh, we'll let you know when you, if you've won or not uh, towards the end of June. All right, Hida-san, thank you so much for running through these watches with us. Sure. Congratulations on putting together another thank you really so wonderful collection. I really can't wait to see these watches arrive in customers' hands. And uh, best of luck. Thank you. Thank you. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.